Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Spotify can be used as part of the focus sessions um, in the Clock app, as many of you would know, where um, if you are using Spotify, um, you can use Spotify to enhance your focus sessions with music and podcasts. Now, a couple of days ago, um, in regards to this, I did post a video. Actually, this was posted at the beginning of this month that there had been numerous numerous reports um, from users that they were unable to link their Spotify accounts to the actual clock app, um, which was resulting in Windows 11 showing a blank login screen when trying to connect Spotify um, to the actual clock app. Now, I'll leave a link to that video down below um, because it will give you more info. And this was actually a problem that had been around, as previously mentioned, for quite some time and was due to an expired certificate on Microsoft's side. And uh, um, just to let you know now that Microsoft has since confirmed that this issue now has been fixed in an upgrade um, to the Clock app, which recently was made available over uh, in the Microsoft Store. So if you did face this issue, um, just head over to the Microsoft Store and the most recent update, which rolled, a, which rolled out in my region on the 13th of May, so that was just a couple of days ago, has addressed the issue. So if you are using the Clock app, just check for updates and uh, in the store and this will make sure that your Clock app is updated to the latest version, which will resolve the issue. And if we just have a look at um, the details regarding the Clock app in the store, um, the latest version that you need to be on now to address this issue with Spotify um, of the Clock app is version 11.2302.5.0. So that's the latest installed version that you need to be on uh, to address this issue. And this issue now will obviously now let Spotify connect. Um, it will connect your Spotify account to Windows 11, which will now open the proper logging screen. And that will prompt you to link your account. So that issue now, according to Microsoft, has been resolved. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.